Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Welcome to our free QuickBooks Online tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to add multiple users in QuickBooks Online. Before we get into the mechanics of adding a user, let's talk about the types of users you can have in QuickBooks and the limitations based on the plan that you're subscribed to. Um, so you can find this information uh, by Googling Fit Small Business free QuickBooks Online tutorials and this is under part one how to set up multiple users. So this table talks about the different types of users and the limitations according to your plan. So your standard and admin users these are the ones uh, that count towards your limits uh, so simple uh, the, the simple plan is just one user essentials is three users plus is five users advanced is 25 users. In addition to those users that you pay for the uh, each plan can invite two accountants. Um, in, order to, in order for an accountant to accept your invitation to view your books, they need to have QuickBooks Online Accountant. They can't use one of these uh, versions that are designed for companies. They have to use the accountant version. That accountant version allows them to click directly into multiple clients' QuickBooks accounts. Very handy. So when you invite an accountant, make sure they have that uh, software. You can also have time tracking users if you're in the essentials or higher plan. Um, so your employees can track their own time. That doesn't count towards your maximum number of users. And if you're in the plus or advanced plan, you can have report only users. So again, these are users that can view the reports, but they can't do anything else. And those don't count towards your uh, maximum number of users. Okay, so those are the types of users, the limitations based on your plan. So now let's look at how we add them. Let's go to your QuickBooks dashboard. Make sure you're on the Business Overview tab. If you don't already have a copy of QuickBooks Online, you can get 30 days free trial by clicking the link below this video. So to invite multiple users, let's go to our Cogwheel, and then your company, Manage Users. This will give you a list of the users you have and the type of users. So Paul's Plumbing, we have four users. We have the primary admin. This will be the person who set up the account. And then we've invited three more admins. So these are all normal users with admin rights. We can invite additional users by clicking this Add User button. Um, we can add users as either a standard user and then you can then specify which rights to give them or not to give them. Or we can do a company admin um, and that will give them all administrative rights. So as you saw on the prior screen, all of the users for Paul's Plumbing are company admins, but let's add a standard user so we can adjust which uh, rights they have. Um, and again, these count towards your limitations. So if you're in the plus plan, you have a maximum of five users. Other types of users that don't count towards your maximum are your reports only and your time tracking users. So you'll go through and you can invite them in the same manner that we're going to invite the standard user. So standard user, click next. How much access do you want this user to have? I'm going to give them all access with payroll. So it gives you then a list of everything that they can do. Or I could give them no access. So in this case, they can't use any of the accounting features, but they can still let them manage certain things and submit their own timesheets. But if all they're doing is submitting timesheets, make sure you set them up as a timesheet user, not a standard user, because you don't want them using up one of your paid slots. Or we can limit them to customers or to vendors. So if we have somebody that's purely working on our accounts receivable, we could set them up as a standard user limited to customers. They should be able to do everything they need to do to manage accounts receivable. Or if there are accounts payable clerk, let them use everything with vendors. Okay, so there you can customize um, the access rights for your users. I'm going to go ahead, let's just return it to all. Um, these are particular admin rights. And so if we had set them up as an admin user, they'd automatically have this. We've set them up as a standard user. So we can add some of these admin rights if we wish. Do we want this user to be able to add, edit, or remove other users? Uh, we'll say no. Do you want this user to be able to edit the company information? Yeah, maybe they'll need to do that. And do you want this user to manage subscriptions? No. OK, so these are some admin rights um, that we can uh, provide standard users. Click next. Here's where you give them the name. We'll just say John Doe. 
and I'm not going to actually send this, but here is where you would type their email. Okay, so I already have somebody set up with that. Um, okay, um, so from here you hit save. It will send them an email. They can use that email then to click on the link and set themselves up in QuickBooks. Very easy. Um, one thing, one word of warning here, Intuit uses the same system for both QuickBooks and TurboTax. And so if they've used TurboTax in the past, then they already have an Intuit account and they'll need to use that email and that password. So the same password for TurboTax will have to be used for QuickBooks. So that can be very confusing because they've never used QuickBooks so they get your email, they assume they have to set up a new account, they try to set up a new account and it tells them there's an account already established for that email. Well that's because they used that email for TurboTax. Okay so just give them a word of warning if they've used TurboTax they have to use the same login credentials. Okay, great. So from here you hit save and it'll send out that invitation. Okay, here we can see resend invite or eventually once they accept it, it'll convert over to the other ones and it'll say edit. Okay, and that's all there is to managing users in QuickBooks Online. Oh, those are our standard users. Let's talk about accounting firms. So you can invite two accountants unless you're in the advanced plan and then you can invite three accountants. Um, here all you have to do is enter the accountant's email, click invite and it'll send them an invitation. Again, they have to have QuickBooks online in order to view your books, but they'll accept your invitation. Then your company will show up in their list of clients when they open their QuickBooks online and they can use that as a direct portal into your books. So they can see your books in real time as you're looking at them. So they're very uh, makes it very easy for them to help you. Again, that doesn't count towards your standard five users. You can have two accountants in addition to your uh, normal users. Great, and that's all there is to, to adding users in QuickBooks Online. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in another free Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorial.